we are going to see the tulip gardens. Would I go again? Would you go again? what we're back in Seattle <laughs> as you can see from our uh, attire, attire with the hoodie or oh, not hoodie with sweater not as warm anymore which is fun uh, we are going to see the tulip gardens tulip festival the tulips are almost in full bloom and it's getting warmer and sunnier so tomorrow is definitely gonna be masses of, of people there we're not gonna go there on weekends so we're lucky enough to go adventuring and go see places in work days so that's what we're doing it's Friday yep. stay tuned <laughs> small garden. Insane. If I could catch her and make you feel the beautiful smell here, I would. to the big fields even though the small gardens are just absolutely beautiful so the entry astounding. astounding so the entry for one person is $15 and I can already say that it's worth it even for those small gardens and parking's free parking. and when we drove up here I was like god I hope they're not charging for parking because that would be shitty <laughs> well it's included in the price, it's not free. <laughs> oh, okay, it is. Um, but cool. yeah, and then we have some mountains as well. This is an absolutely gorgeous place for photo shoots. Okay, mm. Ellie's also happy. Ellie's happy. plantations part of it and there are more fields there oh. Ellie you see that's your favorite color it's your favorite color buddy <gasps> oh. <laughs> gentle 
Dan tahun apa? Ah, it's bugging me. Look, it's bugging me. You see the bug? Look at the bug. Very good. Be be gentle. Gentle. Very gentle. I know you're gonna do this. gorgeous is this? We have red, we have yellow, we have yellow, we have purple, then there's orange. It is every, it is excellent, it is excellent, it is excellent. Okay, we did uh, a bunch of photos. We totally forgot about the fact that we're vlogging. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Mm. What are you hiding? Mm. 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 Like sneakers, uh, beige top, sneakers in beige top. Going back home with a, an awesome experience here at the Tulip Farm. And Ellie's hungry. You tell him. He wants the milk. It's milk, he won't sleep. It's Ellie's bedtime already, right? Did I say mm. But look at that. Beautiful. Purple tulips and golden white. We just got back to the car. How we liked it. Yeah. Would you go again? Would I go again? Would you go again? Yes. <laughs> I would. I definitely would. It was worth every single penny. It was absolutely gorgeous. We went to the Rosen Guard and they had like 50 plus acres of tulips and mm -hmm. daffodils. That was just huge. If you're coming from Seattle Center, you might come across traffic, mm -hmm. so that's just a heads up, even on Friday. Um, and it says on Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be even more packed. Oh my gosh, yeah. It was quite a bit of people today, it's Friday. So obviously on weekends, it's probably packed. So if you have the chance, go in weekdays. What we would suggest is dressing nicely so you can um, take some awesome yeah, pictures yeah take some awesome pictures there was there were a lot of ladies in like floral dresses and matching tulip fields if you have like purple yellow red dress or white, uh, white as well and pink 
saw a lot of people went with mm. boots, but uh, it really depends on the weather, what's been yesterday or, you know, days before. Yeah. If it's dry, you're good with white sneakers. I was pretty good with sneakers, yeah, totally. just got a little bit of dirt on them, yeah. but it's, it's worth it for the pictures. Yeah. Um, and obviously, if it has rained a previous day or the same day, we suggest to we wear like hiking boots or hiking boots or rain boots because mm -hmm. it can get pretty muddy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, dress for the weather. Uh, for us, the weather was nice. It wasn't too windy, but obviously, if it's windy, it's like on a field. If you want to take pictures, I highly recommend to get a tripod or a sand. Mm -hmm if you don't have like a photographer or another person because when we we're trying to take a picture we had to ask someone to take a picture of us and not everybody has a good uh hand of you know taking pictures yeah. or style so yeah that that's kind of helpful. yeah yeah definitely so if you want to go slowly without a rush and take nice pictures in all spots i would definitely go for like two hours and if you want to visit a gift shop as well and uh, we maybe, never we yeah. never visited it we just went straight to the tulip gardens yeah because the gift shop i think it it uh closes at 7 p.m mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, just be... we were leaving at 7 30 or something um a little bit after 7 30 p.m and the gift shop was already closed but you can buy some cut tulips as well and some tulip bulbs and um yeah you have some souvenir options as well we were also wondering if you have visited other tulip gardens and what was your experience like uh, would you recommend uh, something maybe different yeah or maybe you have been in the same garden previous years and you see some changes we're curious to know what maybe what has changed so if you have any experience or if you're having even some questions uh, you can leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll get back to you mm -hmm. cheers thank yeah. you for watching yeah. and for supporting <laughs> see you in our next video